This is Brother Q. Sorry, I've been missing in action for a little bit. I've been feeling a little under the weather. But I just want to take a moment and talk to my brothers and sisters for a minute. Check this out. Now, I saw something recently talking about the Vatican's hidden library, their secret archives. You know, I think about secret societies and all that kind of stuff that you've got the government that doesn't really tell the people what they're doing. Then you have religious organizations <laughs> that are not telling you what they're doing. You got governments all over the world not telling you what they're doing. You got the military not telling you what they're doing, but yet and still, we keep incorporating into these things and we keep giving away our power by going along with it. Then you hear about uh, robots coming out and secret suppressed technologies, medical technologies, uh, um, you know, aliens and our secret history and the fact that we've been on this planet for millions of years when they've been telling you in the Bible that you've been here uh, 6,000 years, less than 10,000 years, and it started with Adam and Eve. But yet and still, we still subscribe to that. We still go along with that. And even when you come, a lot of people, when they come across new information, finding out that, hey, maybe I, I didn't get the whole story. Not, you know, not trying to disrespect anyone's belief. But hey, I didn't get the whole story. They won't even look at it. Their mind, their third eye is so closed that they won't even look at the new information. And these are the people who have charge over your religious rights, your religious freedom, your hope of an afterlife, you know, how to feed the body, how the body works, how the universe works. You know, now they're coming up with, um, well, you know, the, the periodic table of the elements and things that we have here, there's a few more uh, things that we need to put on it because we found out that there are some things in nature such as gravity and electricity that work a different way than what we've been taught. And so now we got to rethink that. Okay, let me ask you a question. You've got uh, all of the... Um, Religious texts such as the hidden books of the Bible. Why do they have to hide books? Why do they have to take out books? Book of Enoch. Why do they have to take it out? And those other books, the, um, you know, if it's all a part of the story, then why don't they want you to have the whole story? And why are you not going to look at it for yourself? Because that's a form of control. So the question is, do you really want to be a sheeple and follow the tail in front of you? Or do you really want to know what came before you, who came before you, why your life is the way it is? As uh, melanated individuals, our history on this planet is millions of years old, millions. They find a new pyramid and a new city under the water, in the jungles, and everything, every single month, somewhere on the planet. So my question to you is, why are you not looking at these things? You think because it happened so long ago, which is a lot of it, not as long as you think. But wait a minute, these are the people that are in charge of you. If you start looking at some of these ancient cities where they, you'll find out that there was technology on this planet hundreds of thousands of years ago. I'm talking ancient machines. How do you think the pyramids were built? 
A lot of people will tell you, oh yeah, the pyramids, they were uh, burial chambers for the pharaohs. No, they weren't. The pyramid complex on the entire planet is nothing more than a Wi-Fi network, okay? It was wireless electricity for people to get, it was a way for people to get power and power all over the plant wirelessly. And it was Nikola Tesla that piggybacked off of that technology. Don't believe me? Go look it up and leave a comment about that if you think I'm wrong because I can prove that. The pyramid, you, first of all, there's pyramids in every state in the United States. Don't believe me? Look it up, Google it, okay? Or holler at me and I'll show you. The pyramids are ancient technology for wireless power, like a planet-wide wi wi Wi-Fi. Nikola Tesla recreated that same technology and blew out the power <laughs> in the United States, okay? That's ancient technology, that's not new. When you look at the um, Indian text, and you see that there, a lot of people call it folklore in their religious texts where they talked about the wars and the flying machines. You know, come on. If you study these kinds of things, you'll understand that Hitler and the Nazis, they had flying machines. Oh, and by the way, anybody who thinks that there are no aliens, either on this planet or anywhere else, that share the planet with us, okay? Go do your research. You're not alone. They're talking everywhere around us. They're talking about alien disclosure and things like that now. I'm like, dude, these people who didn't tell you what was going on before, all of a sudden, now they're starting to talk about aliens in the United States Space Force. Hello, people. As much as the people that govern and want to inoculate you and your children and think that it's a good thing to cover up our, our economic, not economic, the, our, what is it, the carbon footprint. These are the same people who want to inoculate you and your children and they want to reduce the population on the planet. But yet and still, these are the people that you trust. Uh, they control the military, they control the food supply, and you don't think that it's a good thing to get out of the cities, these mass population centers, if they stop travel, okay? Or let's just say, I heard someone talk about something called the spike protein, that people who have been inoculated have the possible propensity to become contagious to people that were not. Now, I'm not a medical person, but watch this. I saw an article in the news that's saying that there are cities in Florida who will not allow inoculated teachers to teach their young children and be in the classroom because of that exposure. Hey, you look it up, I don't know. But the point that I'm making is uh, throughout history, there have been so many different things that the governing bodies and the powers that be are not sharing with the common people. When are we gonna stop trying to be kumbaya with these institutions and these people? Now, for the record, I am not a racist, I am a realist. I am pro-melanin every day, all day. I'm not anti-anybody, okay? The time that we spend trying to be kumbaya with every other ethnic group who is controlling the finances in their community, communities and doing the things that they need to do, maybe we need to like really hunker down and do some of that stuff. Maybe we need to start buying and selling and controlling the finances that come in and out of the hands of our people only. Start focusing on that and start dealing with that. Then maybe we can have something that we can leave to our children. That we can have something that we can accumulate to, you know, take us and our children out of harm's way. It's like this, you have a house, that's because you have a mortgage. How many of us own land? How many of us have 
relatives where you say, well, my aunt and my uncle owns land, but that doesn't mean that you own it or you have access to it or you have control of it. So what do you have? Nothing but words. Brothers, let's start to take our roles a little more serious. Look around, okay? Look around, it's time to do more. How many of us have at least 90 days worth of food, water, and supplies in our homes where we live because the majority of us are urbanites, okay? How many of us have food, water, ways to uh, get around? I remember we had this little fake gas shortage test for a couple of days, and what happened? People swamped the gas stations, all right? People. I see manipulation going on on a mass level. Let's get it together. Let's start getting ourselves together. And by the way, my next video on preps is going to be on um, commo or communication. Radios. If the, so, if the uh, cell phone grid went down and you can call anybody on your cell phone, how would you get in contact with anybody? How many of us have uh, walkie-talkies, uh, CB radios, ham radios to get in contact with the person, people down the street that think like you do? Okay, people, get it together. There is a whole nother history on this planet. There's a whole nother, there are civilizations that we never even heard of, we never been taught about. Uh, when we think ancient, we think ancient Egypt. There are cities, there are more cities and structures under the desert. You can't go into the desert and take two steps and not be standing on top of another structure. Go to Google Earth and look at the pyramids in Antarctica. Come on, people. We got to snap out of it and think that that has nothing to do with us now. There are areas on the planet that there are no fly zones because of the ancient civilizations and technology that still have structures that are still there. Remember, they told you that a pyramid, the pyramids in Egypt and in Giza were burial structures, but yet and still, not one mummy, not one piece of writing on the walls ever have been discovered in any of the pyramids. But yet and still, when you look at the ancient, um, like the Native American burial mounds, you can look and see that there are pyramids in every state in North America and all over the world for that matter, because it was a worldwide power grid, okay? Not a burial chamber, a power grid. But they don't give it to you uh, because that's free energy and they can't control it, just like organ, organ energy. It's the same stuff. People, stop trying to be kumbaya with everybody. Get your history and set up your own families and your own civilizations. Let's do our thing. Let's get some of this ancient technology that, by the way, you know, you always hear about weapons of mass destruction, but they never find any. They're looking for ancient technology. Get with the program. Protect yourself and your families. Be safe. Eyes and ears open. Go look at your history. And stop thinking that we are the only individuals on this planet and in the universe. That there are no extraterrestrials, aliens, or people from other places. Just think of it like that. Don't think of little green men. Just think of it people from other places. Okay, this is not the only planet like this in the universe, and there are other forms of life. You better get used to it because you're gonna start seeing it in the news. You know, we've been given the narrative that uh, during slavery, Columbus brought every melanated person over to these shores. I think the majority of us know that that's not true. Just the opposite, we were always here. But the issue is, you used to be able to walk through and hike through the Grand Canyon, now certain uh, portions of the Grand Canyon are closed. Why? Because of the undiscovered pyramids, uh, underground cities, and the Egyptian complexes that they have discovered in the last 50 years in the Grand Canyon. Oh, but they don't talk about that in mainstream media. Listen, 
I just dropped a few pictures of ancient technology. Feel free to share with me how you think any of them were built with the technology that we have now, then, or anytime. They can't even be built now, but just check out some of these. Hit me up. Peace.